Hi guys, it's Sherry and welcome to the Eyes Have It. Today I'm doing a look and a review of the Tom Ford eyeshadow palette that was shown recently in my haul. This is the one that is in Silvered Topaz. I have used several colors in it for my look today. I did not use the eggplant color. Uh, it seems to have been, even when I'm not using purple, it seemed to be looking like I'm wearing purple in a lot of my recent videos. Uh, so I used the two taupe colors, these two. This one is a lighter, almost silvery. And this one is a bit darker. And then I used just a little bit of this glitter along my lash line. Um, the other color is this eggplant purple, which I'm not using today, but it's a very pretty color. Let me find it. Empty finger here. Very pretty. Deep, deep, deep purple. Because I didn't want to wear the eggplant, I used another color for my crease color. I mean, I'm sorry, for my outer V color. And that is from my Z palette. I believe it's a matte color. Keep Your Cool number 431 from MAC. So I used that as my outer V color to give a little extra darkness to the outer V since I didn't want to use that dark purple. So what I did was I used the paler of the taupes, which is this one up here. And I used that all over my lid. And then though I almost never use anything shimmery in my crease because of my dry skin and age, I decided to go ahead and give it a try, see how it would work like it and don't like it, like it from a distance, don't like it up close. So then I used this uh, darker taupe in, uh, as my crease color. Then I went um, above that with Sigma's Escape, which is just a uh, off-white creamy color. And I think I may have gone into uh, the transition area with a little bit of the blackberry. Even though I was trying to avoid purple, I felt like I needed something in the transition area, which is above the crease color and below the eyebrow color. So I think I used a little bit of this blackberry. I'm going to go close up, show you a closer look, and also, by the way, this makeup has been on for probably about five hours, and my one eye has been watering all day. So it's, I'm sure, not as fresh as it was. I did just now add a little bit of the light silvery taupe onto my lid just to kind of bump up what had been there because I've been kind of wiping my eye all day and I had not been wearing the glitter color today uh, but I did just add that on and what I did was I just took it kind of right down at the lash line I didn't put it all over my eyelid so I'm going to take you close in and and let you see the look and then I will talk a little about using the Tom Ford palette. Okay, here we go. Ready to zoom. Okay, excuse my dry skin. It's very, very dry. But, um, so the silvery, like I said, it's on the lid. I put some of the gray, keep your cool, the dark gray in the outer corner. Then I did the, the medium taupe. Uh, shimmer in the crease and a little bit just a tiny little bit of the blackberry on top of that and then the Sigma escape up in the brow bone area. I did put a little of the sparkle right along the bottom of my eyelid. All right going back out. Okay one of the things I read about on the Tom Ford website was that 
Each of the Tom Ford palettes includes four different finishes. So in this particular uh, palette, the eggplant is matte. The, um, this up, up in the corner here is the glitter, sparkle, whatever you want to call it. Then the, um, the darker taupe is, I think, what I would call a satin. It's very, very soft. And then the lighter silvery taupe, it has a sheen in it, but it's not really obnoxious. So you will only get one matte shade in each palette. For as much money as I spent on this, I wasn't sure I would even enjoy it that much because there was only one matte shadow. And because the one matte shadow is the eggplant that I already have several other versions of. But I have to say, um, I guess it was the other day, I uh, wore just the light uh, silvery taupe on the eyelid and maybe a little bit of the darker taupe in the outer corner for a day look. And that, that's all I wore. I didn't do a crease color and I didn't do an eyebrow, an eyebrow highlight, as I usually don't during the day. Um, but I did today because I wanted to give a full look in order for the um, to do the review and also I wanted to see how it wore um, because this is the first time I've worn three of the four shades at one time and uh, I wanted to kind of see how they how they wore and as I said you know from a distance I do like the look a lot um, but up close really really crepey so I don't know that I would use either of the taupes in my crease again because both of the taupes are shimmery to some extent. And the eggplant is super, super, super dark. So I don't know that I would put that in the crease either unless I was doing, you know, like a really, you know, big time evening look. The Tom Ford uh, quad does come with two double-ended sponge brushes. This one is a, a broad sponge on one side uh, for applying the lid color and a pointed sponge on the other side for doing the crease in the outer V. And then the other one is a broad sponge on one end and a brush on the other end. A super, super soft brush. So I'm not really sure what its purpose is um, because it gives so much. I can't imagine doing crease work with it, though I suppose you could maybe blend with it uh, or put on a, a brow, bone, brow bone highlight in a pinch if that's all you had. But for the most part, I, I did use them. I did use the sponge the first time I used this, but today I used a, one of my other brushes. Um, the packaging is super nice. It is on the heavy side, this palette. Uh, so in terms of travel, don't think it would be a good travel palette. It's just too bulky and heavy. It is beautiful, not going to lie. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. Very classy, very upscale looking, as it should be for the price. And once again, I got this on the Nordstrom's website. As many of you know, I live in a small beach town. We don't have any Sephora, Mac, Nordstrom's, anything like that around here. So pretty much everything, um, makeup-wise, I buy online. So I did buy this on the Nordstrom's website. And while I was there, I thought I'd also check about the Jane Iredale powder. It's a pressed mineral foundation. And I did um, end up getting that as well. And I'm wearing that today as well. I'll do a separate review on that because I think for foundation one wear isn't adequate. I did get a couple of wears out of this, but today was the first day I've worn the Jane Iredale on my whole face. So I will do a separate review on that. Okay, so that is all. For those of you have been, who have been asking for a brush cleaning video, that is coming pretty soon. I'm waiting for one brush cleaning product to arrive from Amazon, which should probably be tomorrow. And once I have that, I already have everything else I need. So I will um, go ahead and be filming that uh, brush cleaning tutorial probably sometime um 
around Valentine's Day. All right, not very romantic cleaning your brushes, but <laughs> anyhow. So that is all for today. Hope you're having a great week. Bye-bye.